Hello, you're listening to Dan. I'm David Stjernholm and today we'll talk about how to make setting up your structure takes as little time as possible. But first, the third video in my ongoing collaboration with 3mintalk.com is out. In it I explain what I actually do and how I ended up here and what I strive for. Watch the short video on the structure blog at stjernholm.com slash blog or on my YouTube channel. Just search for my name on YouTube and you will find it easily. Like many times before, I got a certain question during one of my talks the other week. A participant said, all this structuring, doesn't it take a lot of time? I understand the question and the concern, because when I explain how the flows look like in the refined and systematic approach I advise, it can at first glance look very complex and complicated. And this is because our everyday life is, in fact, complex. And still we need to make it all come together. All the crucial things need to be included in the model to make it work in our everyday lives. If anything, the description is still a simplified version of the reality we meet every day, all the time. The questioner had another question to follow the first. He said, how much time do you actually spend on structuring every week? My answer is hardly any. You see, when I work, the structure is built into my way of working. When something comes up that I do not do directly, I write it down. I put it in the structure if you want. When I am about to choose what to do next, I use the structure in the form of a prioritization method that helps me to choose the right thing to do. The alternative to this structured approach would be to not write down what I do not do instantly and then choose tasks at random. It would probably take less time at that moment, but very soon my situation could become completely unbearable. I would miss and forget things, get stressed, and have to spend a lot of time fixing all the things that went wrong. Structuring does take time when we are building a new structure or refining our current routines just like any development work does. But once it is up and running, it is the structure that moves things forward and that constitutes the backbone of our working methods. But the question was justified, since, in spite of our best efforts and intentions, there is a risk that we structure in vain. This happens when we write down information we do not use. We label something we then never look for. We write an instruction to ourselves regarding something that is actually obvious. We create categories we never file things into. We sort things in folders we never click our way to. And so on. Do this. If you want to avoid dedicating unnecessary time on structuring, examine your habits and ways during the week ahead and reflect on the following. Do you use all of the information you wrote down when initially making note of a to-do task? Is it possible to exclude something from today onward when noting tasks on your list? The labels or categories you use for organizing tasks, documents, emails and other things, do you ever sort your materials, emails and so on by these labels? If not, are there labels you can remove? And do you use all the folders you have created or do you instead do a search to find what you need? Are there any folders that can be merged into one bigger, more extensive folder? Because if you get rid of parts of the structure you once created but which you in actuality no longer use, you will spend slightly less time on structuring itself. The time you do spend is used to move things forward and you do not have to waste time on meaningless irrelevances. Treading water. How do you spend as little time as possible on the structuring itself so you get more time to spend on things you really want to do? Write to me at david at stjernholm.com and tell me. I want to hear what you have to say about it. Thank you for listening to this edition of Done and welcome back next week.